A suspected drunk driver in East Contra Costa County has been arrested in a fatal crash that happened last night, but he didn't kill another driver or another person for that matter. KTV's Greg Liggins explains what happened. To the right of this man is a horse that was struck and killed along Delta Road in Knightson just after 930 Friday night. The vehicle was traveling eastbound on Delta Road with a uh, rider on the horse in front of him. Uh, the vehicle struck the horse, which then ejected the rider off onto the shoulder as well as uh, killing the horse. In this home surveillance video, the horse and rider are just off camera to the right. As two cars approach them, you see brake lights illuminate. Seconds later, you hear the impact as a car headed in the opposite direction hits the horse and rider. The rider of the horse had major injuries. Due to distance, the unidentified rider was taken to John Muir Medical Center by helicopter rather than ambulance. Despite the heavy damage sustained to the right front of the vehicle, the unidentified driver managed to walk away, but in handcuffs, arrested for suspicion of DUI. We have had several incidences with horses and vehicles out here. This is a country road. They're narrow. It's dark here at night. Davey Bushong says the last horse vehicle crash he recalls happened about two years ago on Delta Road next door. He says he wasn't surprised to see it happen again Friday night right across the street. He says many people drive too fast and he routinely finds plenty of evidence of drinking. We try to keep the road fun as clean as we can, but I'm always finding beer bottles, vodka bottles, whiskey bottles up and down the whole street. Many roads in the area are narrow with little to no shoulder, and with no street lights, drivers have only their headlights to rely on. So Bushon gave the same advice cited by first responders. If you're going to be out after dark with an animal, some type of reflective, something light, something to give everybody the benefit of the doubt to try to see you before anything like this happens. We reached out to the CHP to see if the injured horse rider would also be given a toxicology test, and we were told at this time it's not known if that will be part of their investigation. Greg Liggins, KTVU, Fox 2 News.